We love highlighting local restaurants here on Soda City Living. You can usually find us out and about visiting different restaurants, but today we're hosting one of our favorite restaurants here in studio. Today we want to highlight Village Idiot Pizza. Brian, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. We are excited to have you and excited to talk about all this amazing food in front of us. You've always got exciting things going on, but we want to talk about this pizza in particular. That's right. That's our feature of the month for January. That's the uh, vodka sauce pizza for the uh, dry January. People who uh, recognize that. Perfect. Yep. Yep. So what all is on it? So that is a uh, homemade vodka sauce as the base, and then your mozzarella, spinach, sausage, and garlic. Mm -hmm. It goes all, it goes very well together, so it's uh, really proud of this one. We try, we do some different things for our features of the month. Yeah. This one came out top notch, it may go on to the permanent menu. Wow, and I've heard it is a fan favorite as well. People, people seem to like it. All right, is it easy to make, would you say? It is, it is easy to make. Um, you know, you can, you can get a pre-made vodka sauce if you want to use it, or make your own. You and, make your uh, own, don't you? I do make my own. Yeah, yes, and I you're do. very proud. I am very proud. <laughs> it probably took me a little more time than it should, but uh, I think it's worth it. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is worth mm -hmm. it. And so you're going to show me how to make this, right? That's right. That's right. Okay. So we're going to we're going to show you how to uh, stretch out some dough here. So the first thing you want to do okay. with your dough is get it all nice and flat. Roll up the black sweater there and get yep. the flour on yep. there. That's okay if it gets messy. That's right. So <laughs> you know, get it as 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 flat as you can there. And if you need to use some more flour, we got some there too. Okay. It gets a little bit sticky. Okay. Um, and then once you get it as flat as you can, you're gonna want to try to kind of get it into uh, you know, there's no law or rule okay. that says a pizza is supposed to be round. <laughs> Mine probably won't be. <laughs> typically, that's what people, you know. That's what, yeah, it's more recognized. Seem to know. Yeah. And this is something, you know, you can make your own dough or you can come see me and I'll sell you some dough. Or oh, really? I think, uh, I think Publix uh, in their bakery, they sell a uh, piece of dough also. So any of those good good options if you want to stretch out your own. <laughs> Mine might be a little bit more square That's right. here. So, you, you know, we're, we're doing, I wouldn't say that you're, you know, exactly a natural, but I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen worse As long as before. you've seen worse, I will sleep tonight. I have seen worse. <laughs> but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to, Give you this one over here, and we're going to teach you how to throw this thing. Okay. So you're going to put it up on your hands like so on your knuckles. Uh huh. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take it and throw up and twist. So okay. Go up, twist like that. It's by it's don't don't overthink it. Just up and oh, see, there you go. Okay. You're have you seen there. worse? Oh, no, no, no. I have seen worse. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen worse. How I've many seen, times do you need to throw it? I have. Well, you're going to want to try to get it to the the size you're looking for. We're looking for about 16 inches on that one. So. Yeah, a couple more times there, and you're good. Woo! Yep, so you yeah, can get... Uh, I'm making a mess yeah, Look already. at you, you're, you're making yeah. a pizza there. That's it, so... I see? make a mess wherever Stick I go, around? so this well, is very okay. on brand. You're very... Oh, see, we got a rip there. This happens from time to time, too. See, okay. you look worse right here. All right, yeah, I would right say that's there. worse. So look, there you go. Now okay. You got, a, you got a pizza just like that. So now we're going to sauce it up, okay. take a couple ladles of that, and uh, spin it around. You're gonna want to uh, not go all the way to the edge, but you don't want too big of a, a crust there. Now, what all goes into a vodka sauce? So, vodka sauce, what we have there is uh, you cook down some onions and garlic, tomato paste, mm -hmm. and then you, you know, vodka sauce, it's not just a clever name. There is vodka in it, but you cook you cook all the alcohol out of it. Okay. So you, then you pour some vodka in there. You get that all cooked down. Then you add in um, whole peeled tomatoes. Okay. Got to get those all crushed up and either in a blender or with an immersion blender, or just a real lot of pushing down with a spoon on them. Mm -hmm. And then you're just adding some heavy whipping cream, and uh, you got it. Cook that. Uh, nice. Cook that for about 30 minutes. Yeah, I was curious because it's yeah. got some texture in it. It does have texture, mm -hmm. and that's your that's your onions and your garlic and whatnot. So. Um, you know, it, it kind of goes together. So it does have a texture to it too, which which adds. Yeah. So then uh, once you get your sauce there, you're gonna go with your cheese. Okay. Um, generous, not generous. You're gonna use all of that. Think? Okay. So, and that's something where people, some people like a lot of cheese, some people don't like a lot of cheese. Yep. Same thing with sauce. What we try to do at the restaurant is always like, we portion out, we measure so that people know this is what our baseline is for cheese. If you right. want more, yeah, get extra. If you want less, you go light. Same thing with the sauce. And pretty that way consistent. people can know what they're getting. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty pretty important in the restaurant business 
is consistency. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, people want what they want. And, and if, if they want extra, they're, they're willing to pay for it. So it's not, you know, it's not a big thing, but they want to know what they're, what what they're, they're getting. getting. Yeah, so speaking yeah. of the restaurant industry, sure. how did you get into it? How did you start making pizza? Um, I started, I grew up in Albany, New York, mm -hmm. and um, I just started a place in my neighborhood. Started uh, cleaning up a little bit, and then uh, would come in, and the guy's Alindo Viscusi, he taught me how, how to make dough, and then how to make pizza, and then did that, and I moved to uh, South Carolina for school when I was 19. And okay. The original owners of the Village Idiot down there in Five Points, they were hiring a pizza cook, and I said, well, I know how to do that. Yeah, and the guy for the job. Yeah, so <laughs> got got hired as a cook there. My wife, Kelly, was a waitress there at the time, so we met there, and then um, 2003, we ended up buying it. Oh, my and gosh. Yeah, so how did, I don't really know how I got into it, but <laughs> yeah, here we are. kind of fell into it. Yeah, kind of, kind of know, fell into it, but uh, it works. The best things happen that way. Yeah, and it's, yeah. Uh, I think the restaurant industry, too, is, is anybody in it will, will let you know that if it is for you, you can't really get out of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you can have, it's a hard job. It's a hard industry, but there's times where everything could be going wrong. And one person walks up and says, that's the best pizza I ever had. And I mean, you're good. It's worth you're good it. for months. I mean, yeah. it's right yeah. there. There's nothing better than that. So kind of just being, you know, bringing people together and, um, giving them an experience and, mm -hmm. and, and really making people happy. Yes. It's, it's a good, you know, being able to make people happy is a, is a, very powerful drug. Yes, and pizza is such a happy food. A lot of people like pizza. <laughs> yeah. um, it's it's not you know young kids like pizza, old people like pizza, people like us make like pizza. Yeah. college kids. I mean it's everybody. So pizza is, and it's also good for you know you can feed you can feed a bunch of people with pizza. There's a lot you can do with it. Mm -hmm. um, you know you can you can feed your, your your family, a bunch of friends, you having a party. There's a lot you can do with it. So. Absolutely. And it reheats well on the next day too. So it's a good oh yeah food. yeah. So, yeah. Yep. All right. What's the next step? So here? then you're gonna put you're gonna put your spinach on there. Okay. Probably not all of that, but close okay. to it. There's again no real wrong way to, Oops. especially when you're making your own. Um, yeah. You, you, there's no rules. Well, I guess there are some rules, but <laughs> yeah, not a whole man. lot of them. Well, it doesn't have to be round. That's one rule. Doesn't have to rule. be round, but you know, look, you got you're you're pretty good there. I definitely. Yeah, thanks may, to you. You may be on the <laughs> schedule next week uh, at some point. You see me at Village Idiot. Don't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna go sausage, kind of about the same amount as the um, okay. spinach. All right. What you do want to do here is want to tell all the new pizza cooks. So you want to try to get it all the way to the edge. All the way you to think the edge. Think of these as slices. Yeah. You don't want to be eating this slice and you get toppings the first couple of bites, and you get to the end and you're like, where are my toppings? And I see on that one right there yeah. too yep see what you're saying yep how long would you say it, it takes for someone to perfect making pizza or do you ever perfect Ooh. it is it, is I it don't, something you just I don't, don't I mean I've been doing it for 35 years mm -hmm. as you can say earlier I, I put a hole through one of those pieces <laughs> yeah. of dough so I, I don't think there is a, a perfection I've had some people start working and they, within an hour, they can they can stretch out a pizza. I've had yeah. some people two months later where I'm like, Still I don't know if this is gonna work for you. Yeah. But then sometimes they, they just come, you know, it just it clicks at some point. Mm -hmm. um, and there's all different kind, different styles of pizza. In the last ten years, a lot has happened in the the, the pizza world. Really. Um, like Detroit style, cooked on a steel pan, is now mm -hmm. popular. And it really is when you think about pizza. I mean, it's a canvas, and oh, you can yeah. do anything you want on it. I I. I'm a traditionalist from New York and I'm, you know, I was a red sauce, you get pepperoni or you get mushrooms or you get sausage, mm -hmm. green pepper and onion and that's it. And now we have, you know, ranch, barbecue sauce, oh, yeah. wing sauce, all <laughs> kinds of like, whoa, vodka sauce, yeah. you know, so it's, uh, it's come a long way. It took me a little while to uh, adapt to the change, mm -hmm. but um, there now and it's, it's fun. It's, it's creative. You can do a lot of things. There's always something new to there explore. Is. There, there is, and some of it gets a little bit crazy. Yeah. Um, but it, it's all, it's all fun. I've had um, cooks come to me with different ideas for specials, and mm -hmm. there's been a time or two where I'm like, that is ridiculous, but okay, let's do it, and it turns out fantastic, and right. people love it. So, I've, I have, as I've aged, I've gone to the, you know. Whatever floats your boat, if you like it, you want to put pineapples on pizza, put pineapples on pizza. Yeah. Sure. Right? There's something for everybody. Making someone happy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good, fun thing to be involved with. Absolutely.